is secure. What is this? This is a six terabyte. Oh, well, it's actually effectively three. What is a six terabyte NAS? And in case you don't know what NAS is, a NAS is basically network attached storage. That's what NAS stands for. So we're going to be taking a look at this guy here from Western Digital. So the whole idea behind this is like it's your own like cloud storage, I guess, which, okay, so you connect it to your router and power, then you, the two drives are supposed to light up, and then you go to those types, set it up. We're gonna put this aside for a quick sec, Let's see what's inside of here. I'm gonna guess this is an ethernet cable, power brick, and a few other things. Hey, what do you know? An ethernet cable, a power brick, and a few other things. What did that tell you? I'm getting good at this. So on the back we have two USB 3.0 ports for adding additional drives if you want, an ethernet cable, and a 12 volt DC in, and a Kensington lock. So that's cool. Right, let's, oh, you know what's satisfying? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, it's glossy plastic. No, make that, don't make that glossy. what it was going to be like when I hooked up to my computer. So I figured you guys might like to know that also. So, uh, when it's connected to like Windows PC, as I have, um, if you go under under your file explorer, or yeah, okay. Then if you go under network, it'll show up under uh, WD My Cloud Mirror, unless you change the name of it. Um, and then your different folders that you've assigned inside of here will be here. And then uh, here's a folder, like my, my personal folder. And then you can actually assign this, like I've assigned this folder right here, assigned uh, a letter, map, ne map network drive, so I did that. And then if I go under this PC, it shows up right here as like a drive. So that's something I connect to, and then it's an easier way to access it, and it shows up as like a drive. Um, and as for changing settings online and things, um, I went to the IP address of the drive. Well, actually it shows with a shortcut. And then here, uh, you have all sorts of settings. So your home, uh, this is actually, this website, this webpage is actually hosted on the drive. So it's a little bit slow, um, as you can see. And also my connection to the drive isn't that fast. But it, it works. Um, I was having some issues actually with connection earlier. So I had to restart the drive. It's, it's been kind of finicky, but I think that's due to my network connection, like I've been saying, and not to the drive. But like I can see how much of the drive I've used. Uh, like so, we backed up our old computer to it, and then you can see network activity and stuff on the drive. Uh, you can see how many users, how many apps, and so you can assign different users and give them permission and who, what they can see for which folders and whether they can access them or just look at them. And then you can do shared folders. Cloud access is cool. So there's an app for your phone. 
and you can access all the, all the files on the drive there also. Backups, you can set automatic backups. And one of my favorite tabs, storage. So under here you can change your RAID. So right now I have both the drives configured into RAID 1 for redundancy. Um, okay. But you can you can turn it you can change your raid mode. So you can do JBOD, you can span them, you can do raid one or raid zero uh, raid zero or raid one. Uh, if you don't know what those are, Google it. So there's, this is kind of like what the menu is inside of the uh, inside the browser. I don't have anything else to say. That was that was it.